Rick, welcome and thank you for, for joining me. Uh, congratulations on the Series B. As you know, we are absolutely thrilled to be joining as partners in this round. Um, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for backing us, actually, not even since the, the Series B, but actually since the earliest days for us. I mean, I still remember our first time meeting over in Hayes Valley, talking through a kind of persona. This is pre-seed for us. So to be here two and a half years later, working with you more formally, I mean, really a dream come true. Why don't we talk about how Persona got started? And, you know, you, you talked about us meeting in that cafe two years ago. From my recollection, I was just, I was really excited to meet both both you and Charles. Charles, who I knew from Dropbox, you who I knew through a bunch of uh, Square alumni who I really respected, um, saying, hey, you got to watch what whatever Rick does next. Um, maybe from, from your side, tell us how things got started. So in many ways, I always tell folks that the real reason why Persona exists at all is really Charles. And I think when we met at that cafe back then, um, you know, I mean, even today, Charles and I are still uh, roommates. He's one of my best friends. Uh, we still uh, go together uh, late in the evenings and it's been quite a journey. There were identity providers that you could use at, at both, you know, respective institutions, but, you know, it really felt like, at least from my perspective, something was missing in the market. Clearly you guys felt the same way. What do you think Persona does so much differently um, than, than other vendors that, that were already in this identity verification space? We really thought of it from a different perspective rather than like, hey, this is this new novel approach that'll solve identity as the single, you know, silver bullet for the space. We were really seeing it more so from, there's a lot of different approaches out here. How can we offer the building blocks, enable businesses to really construct the ideal identity experience? And I think this really offers two core benefits for businesses. One is for the business itself, it means that they can really tailor the experience for every single use case that they see internally. Whether you're doing fraud prevention, you know, whether you're doing compliance, trying to add an additional layer of trust and safety for your business, you have all the building blocks to make sure that you're building the ideal experience for every single one of these use cases. This enables them also to start thinking about identity from a relationship perspective, not just as a transaction. I think historically, you oftentimes saw identity from this lens of, let me just onboard and then I'm done. Today, we really see identity from this perspective of every single interaction, it matters who the person is on the other side of the screen. And then lastly, what we're really seeing on the identity side was personalization. Today, you know, two individuals, you really don't have everyone go through the exact same flow. If you're a recent immigrant, if you have a thin credit profile, the experience that you should be going through is fundamentally different. You know, what actually matters, you know, you may not have a social security number. You may not have a large credit profile that you can pull from, from these identity databases. So making sure that, you know, the entire environment, the entire identity ecosystem is a bit more inclusive, that everyone effectively has access was more critical than ever. As you think more broadly about the impact on consumers and what this, you know, what a product like Persona can do for the consumer experience, going through any of the, co the companies that you end up working with, like, Tell me a little bit more about that that kind of impact just on the day-to-day -day lives of so many people who are using the internet. I think for consumers, what this means is that hopefully, rather than just thinking of identity almost as this thing of a process that you have to kind of go through to have access to some sort of service, it's almost like creating an entire layer where your identity is protected no matter where you go. And this is why we oftentimes care so much about this notion of universality of persona, where whether you're you know, signing up for HipCamp versus Robinhood, whether you're on Coursera versus um, Gusto, you're identity is always protected no matter where you are. So for us, we believe the first step towards building to this vision is making sure that we're building the infrastructure that really works for any type of business out there, making sure that in the same way that Visa has protected our financial transactions, you know, Persona is protecting our identity no matter where we are. Um, what, what do you think that experience ends up looking like? And maybe talk more about um, that, that future of universality and, and, and you know, even uh, just what it could look like in, in, for, for consumers. Well, with regards to kind of like, you know, what that future could look like, I mean, the dream for us is one in which, you know, if you recently kind of verified yourself as a courier for DoorDash, you know, or recently signed up or ordered alcohol from Postmates, that this identity is seamlessly kind of transferred over to, you know, if you are now opening up a Robinhood account or, you know, earning a degree on Coursera or buying shoes off StockX, like creating this almost seamless layer, no matter where you go. And I think the end user benefit hopefully is that identity really fades into the background in the same way that when you kind of like place a credit card purchase today, we're not thinking about, oh, you know, like when, I, when I'm putting in at least my credit card number into buying something off a Shopify store, I'm no longer thinking to myself, oh my gosh, like someone may compromise my payment information. I think of it almost like this is just a core part of the process and it's incredibly seamless. You know, it does, it takes almost no time whatsoever. I hope for identity is very similar where it just fades in the background. Today, whenever I have to put in my social, 
I'm thinking about this. I'm worried. I'm worried that my personal information will be leaked. I'm worried that, you know, like something will happen here. Even for some of the most major sites out there, there's always this lingering fear. I hope, you know, if we're really able to build this better identity infrastructure and one that's really focused on not just, you know, these digital credentials, not just about my Reddit account or my Facebook account, but rather about my personal information, who I am offline, that this is something that I just don't really think about anymore. And oftentimes, you know, when I joke about persona as like what we're trying to do, I often say we're not trying to change the world. I don't want this to be something where everyone every day is thinking about persona, this persona, that. I hope that if we succeed, it's something that no one's thinking about that, you know, in a lot of ways, it's one less worry that we have in this already incredibly complicated world. With that, actually, I, I think, um, Rick, I just want to say thanks again for being a part of this conversation and uh, so excited to work with you on the next chapter of the business. Hey, thank you so much. Um, I mean, we couldn't be more grateful to be part of the uh, Index family. Thanks, Rick.